On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the 2019 Trek Excalibur 8. This is a pretty cool bike from Trek and it slots right in the middle of their lineup. So just below the race ready rig, the Pro Caliber, and just above the entry level price point, Trek Marlin. So the Excalibur uses a alpha gold aluminum frame and it's got very nice finishing. And an interesting thing to note is this frame is actually shared with the Trek Roscoe. So you can think of this bike as being the 29er, more XC ready version of the bike versus the Roscoe. And a few things come into play with that. So this bike is going to be set up with Bontrager 29 inch wheels. And in fact, it uses Bontrager Kobe 28 hole rims and formula hubs. So pretty decent hubs, but these 29er Bontrager wheels that have the XR2 tires on them are actually going to be set up to where it's going to roll super fast and be a great entry level kind of XC performance bike. It's also going to come with a RockShox 30 Silver and this fork is going to be 100 millimeters of travel. Now the bike I should say is set up as a smart wheel size bike so that means that medium through extra large is going to be 29 and then small and extra small is going to be 27 5 inch wheels. It's kind of smart wheel size is what they call that and that's designed around making sure that the bike fits the rider the best it can. And the same thing goes for that fork. So all bikes small through extra large will actually come with the 100 millimeter travel fork but the extra small will be an 80 millimeter. Now this RockShox 30 Silver is going to have a damper that you can actually adjust from all the way open to closed and this is a infinite adjust so you're able to adjust it to what feels right and then the fork is also air adjustable so that basically means that you can get this thing dialed in perfect for you now part of the alpha gold aluminum excalibur frame is going to be this internal cable routing so much of the cable routing is going to be internal. Now, of course, what's really nice is the brake is going to be external, which with a hydraulic brake, it's going to make it much easier to service if you were to ever take it off. Now, the rear end of the bike is Boost 141, and I should mention the front fork is actually a standard QR by 100. So you've got a slight mismatch there as far as parts, but it's going to make availability for replacement parts pretty easy. For the drivetrain, you're running a Shimano XT 10 speed derailleur. This is a shadow derailleur, so it's got that shadow B link and has a really nice setup. So you're going to have a nice wide range 11 to 36 cassette. And then up front, you're going to have a race face alloy 2x crank set. And that's going into a threaded EXI bottom bracket. So a 24 millimeter race face bottom bracket. And of course you're running a Shimano Deor front derailleur. And that's going to be all set up for a very nice 20 speed drivetrain. While we're back here we should also take a look at the rack mounts. So this bike is going to have rack mounts and that's actually super nice on a mid-level bike like this. As you go higher up in the range sometimes they take away those features. But if you're buying this bike to ride by yourself and with your family, you might need to put a rack on it when you're going, say, to the bike path or trailering something with you. Now the bike is also going to have water bottle cages. So you've got one on the down tube here and one on the seat tube, which is a nice thing to have for sure. Other things to mention is this bike is extremely upgradable. So I mentioned earlier getting replacement parts would be pretty easy. And one of the things that I love is if you were to upgrade the fork, it's actually an inch and an eighth to inch and a half head tube. So this has the ability to run a real high-end fork. You can actually bring this up as you get more into riding. Things like that would be the wheels actually come tubeless, so if you bought tubeless tires for it, you could always do that. That fork that I was talking about. And then of course, the seat post, while it's a solid aluminum seat post, this is actually set up for internal cable routing through the seat tube of a dropper post. So you, could, so you could get a dropper seat post on this bike if you so wanted to. So now that we've taken a look at some of the features of this bike, let's go ahead and find out what it weighs. So the Excalibur 8 
and a size 17 and a half is going to come in and weigh 30.2 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the Trek Excalibur 8. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video.